how to do a room makeover without a big budget. I'm Melissa, I will show you and guys, I'm beyond excited because of this project. This is my current obviously uncomfortable room. I mostly work in this room, but I also use it a lot in my spare time for my art projects. And as you can clearly see, this room has nothing cozy about it at all. So let's get started quickly with the room makeover so we don't have to deal with this mess anymore. I'm planning to create a cozier atmosphere mainly by changing the wall color and then make everything comfy with some shelves and decoration. But before I can start painting the walls, I first have to clean up all the mess in my room and move the furniture into the center of the room. Good morning guys, I'm heading to the hardware store now because today I want to buy a wall color and I have a rough idea about the color but I'm not quite sure. So let's go to the hardware store and pick a hopefully nice color. I was actually planning on painting the wall where my desk stands in a light green and leaving the other walls white but I just discovered a dark green here at the hardware store and I think I'm really up for painting the walls dark green. The step of painting my walls is going to be huge, so I'm a little panicked, but I'm also looking forward for this change. And guys, I love creative projects, so I'm really looking forward for this one. And if you want to see more DIY and art projects from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now that I've finally cleaned up my mess, I can start covering the windows and floor. I always put a lot of effort into covering so I have less effort later when I'm done painting and that way I don't have to repair so many spots later. I already had some things for painting the walls at home and some I had to buy at the hardware store. For painting I used two brushes for corners and also a paint roller for painting large wall surfaces. Just for covering the windows and walls I already needed a half day and I was really happy when I could finally start painting. When I saw how dark the paint was I panicked a bit. <laughs> However, over the past few days I've been getting a lot of inspiration on Pinterest from other rooms and I was very sure the dark green was going to look great so I just trusted the process. Since I tend to set very realistic goals, I thought I could do the whole room makeover in one day. So of course I didn't get it done in one day. But on the first day of my room makeover I managed to buy all the painting supplies, clean up my room, cover all the windows and the floor and finished painting an entire wall. Oh, guys, it's now 11 p.m. I'm beyond exhausted and I just decided to not only paint the wall where my desk stands in dark green, but also the wall next to it. I had not intended to paint everything that dark and I'm a little bit afraid of the result, but I just trust my intuition now and I hope I don't regret it later. I'm too tired, it's already too late now, so I call it a day and just continue tomorrow. Good morning, it's 9am now and my boyfriend just left the house, so I will continue to painting my room now. Because I decided to paint another wall dark green, I started the second day of my room makeover by covering the windows of the second wall and painting the wall. In some parts it was quite inconvenient to paint the walls as I had to leave almost all the furniture in my room because there was no space in the other rooms of my apartment, so I always had to paint around the furniture which turned out a bit difficult at times. But with moving around the furniture everything worked out great and since I covered everything well all the furniture survived the painting well. In the afternoon I decided to paint all the walls because I liked the color so much and very late at 1 am I was almost done with painting. Oh, 
Good morning, guys. It's now 9 a.m. My boyfriend just left the house, so I can continue to painting my room now. But at first, <laughs> I need a big, big coffee, guys. <sighs> so, guys, a little fun fact. <laughs> My boyfriend has no idea what I'm doing in my room right now and I think it's better that way because if he would knew that I paint my walls dark green, I think he would have a little mental breakdown. So cross your fingers for me that it looks good in the end and I don't have to pack my bags. Painting my whole room by myself was definitely one of my best workouts. So muscles up to my little fingers and in the craziest places greeted me the next day but the result was worth all the effort. After I finally finished painting, I started removing all the covers and touching up small imperfections. Then I removed all the foil from the windows and started reorganizing my furniture right away. As I love Harry Potter more than anything, I have a lot of Harry Potter stuff that I use to decorate my whole room. However, I haven't yet managed to unpack some of my Harry Potter stuff that I recently ordered. So if you want to see a video in which I give my room an extreme Harry Potter room makeover, let me know in the comments. But I don't just want to reorganize my old furniture. A few weeks ago I also ordered some new shelves to decorate the wall where my desk will stand. However, it took me almost the whole day to clean up and reorganize my whole room so I didn't start mounting the new shelves until the next day. I found these beautiful shelf holders and I'm totally in love with them. The holders are even more beautiful than in the pictures and match the dark green of my wall color perfectly. I also bought these lovely shelves which match the rest of my furniture. First I screwed the holders to the boards and then figured out where exactly I wanted to attach the shelves to the wall. It wasn't easy to attach the shelves to the wall on my own, mainly because the shelves and the holders were difficult to hold with just one hand, but in the end I managed to get everything done somehow and the result is definitely presentable. I could start decorating and finalizing my room. I already had most of the decorations at home, but I bought a few little things like light chains and picture frames and hone a few days ago. I decorated everything until late into the night and finally after four long days I was done with my room makeover and it was truly worth it. My room is just unrecognizable now and I'm so happy with the result. Did you like my room makeover and would you like to see more videos like this from me? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to follow me, give me a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will always be informed about my latest videos.